Okay, last Sunday on eBay, on eBay, I'm on eBay too much, is uh, I won these. I was going after this Luke Bespin, the vintage collection. So I really wanted this one. Um, on eBay in the UK, this figure goes for big money, uh, say over £20, up to £40, which is ridiculous. Um, and it's the, just the regular card, European card. I bought off this guy before, I think I got the layer off of him. This is VCO4, really nice figure. Let me turn the light off. Okay, and VCO4, Luke Skywalker, there's the original Luke Bespin. And the other early figures. I think I bought that Leah Hoff off the same seller. It's a European sticker there, just there, and there. So in the early days they just put European stickers at the bottom of the car US cards. Quite nice condition card. Uh, great figure, as you can see. Uh, classic card. Really nice. I'm glad I got this finally. And that's, you can see it with the light there. It's a brilliant figure. Lots of reviews of this figure. One of the best loops. Up there with the Luke Dag Dagobah landing. Probably this or the Luke Dagobah landing are the best Luke really of all time. Okay, and I'd say also the Luke with the uh, in the sort of um, what do you call it dressing gown. I like that one a lot as well. And we've got another loot there. He had these two for sale as well. And I made an offer for him and he took it, accepted them. I made an offer for the loot best bin as well. So this is the loot Tatooine Encounter Escape. It's an older figure, but what's good about this one is it comes with that uh, really cool uh, box, the lightsaber that can go inside it. It's got Luke in his floppy hat. Um, you know, looks quite good, you know, that figure. Okay, and there's the back of the card, comes with a loot Jedi, and there's other figures in the range, and also that he had this R5B4, which I think R5 Scout did a re review of this recently, and it looked a really good figure. So there you are, R5B4. Still need to get the vintage collection version of this. Good figure, great character, and this is on the Saga card from 2006. Same lot line as this Luke as well. Okay, the two great figures there. Flyguide.net does good review of this figure. If you want to check a good review of this figure, check it out. You know, it's a really nice box there. Figure's a bit of an older figure, but, but you know, it's quite a good figure. And then the R5-D4. Okay. So, and then you've got the loop best bin to finish it off. Great figures there. Okay. Cheers. Bye. I also got off um, Amazon UK. Um, two vintage collection figures. I've got Dengar from the vintage collection. He's one of the early figures. Got a great sculpt, face sculpt. Uh, got the free Boba Fett offer sticker still. He's an early figure, hard to get these days. Uh, he was about 16 quid, this one. A bit steep, but I thought I'd get, you know try and fill in some gaps on my collection and you know if you check on eBay the prices of these figures in the UK you'll find that these ones go for big money I also got the R2D2 with the drinks tray he's on a Revenge of the Jedi Canadian card or Spanish South American card uh, Revenge of the Jedi logo and that's um, not a European card as many people think it is it's not it's a Canadian um, Canadian 
a South American card because the languages it has on it are Spanish, Portuguese, and French and English. French and England for French and English for Canada, Spanish and Portuguese for um, all of South and Central America, and French for territories like that still might have French speakers as well. Okay. Uh, Dengo's a great figure, you can see the sculpt there, it just looks amazing. Classic card, US card, I think it's got European stickers, I'll just have a look at the back in a minute. And there's the Revenge of the Jedi logo. Great figure there. Sure. In England it costs a fortune to buy a drink these days. The stupid government's putting price, price hikes up on booze. Crazy. Cheaper to collect Star Wars figures than being a, 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 a raving drunk. Okay. Cheers. Well, we need bounty hunters like this to go to 10 Downing Street and sort them out. Okay. Cheers. I'll show you the. Okay. Here's the backs of the cards. So you've got the Canadian card there with the four languages. The R2 is BC25. And there's other figures in the range. I'd like to get that Princess Leia slave outfit. I've got the wicket. I've got the B-Wing pilot. Oh, these are all the revenge figures, aren't they? Cards. Okay. And you've got a UK inv import sticker there. Just there. From Manchester, England. And there's a camera can focus. But this is a South American card, and this is a US card, the uh, VC01. So Dengar was the first of the vintage collection figures. Okay, in 2010, I've got the Cloud Car Pilot, I've got the Luke Bespin now, and I've got the Leia Hoff. That R3PO is just, you know, ridiculous. You can't find him at all. Okay, so there's the two backs of the card. The only thing I have issues with this is that Amazon said they're going to protect the packaging and the postman put them underneath my... because I wasn't in, I wasn't in, so I, I stood on the packaging when I got, got home because it was under my mat and the bubbles got slightly dented. The Dengar didn't, Dengar's not too bad, it's got a little dent there, nothing too major, but the R2 got a few creases there. Uh, it's more the postman's fault, really. They should have taken it back to the post office and I could have come and collected it. Okay, so there's the R2-D2 and here's the Dengar. Okay, the last thing I got was, and actually I got these earlier, was uh, two, these two Clone Wars figures. I got them at Tesco's. For f if you bought, bought two, you get them for a tenner. So I've got the Clone Wars Republic Commander Boss and I've got Ashoka in the swimming gear, scuba diving gear. And this is my first ever Ashoka figure. So, great figure though. Comes with a green lightsaber, both lightsabers, long and short, plus with this spinning lightsaber thing, a mask. Nice paint apps to the figure. Great orange, orangey red face, and there's the back of the card. She's Clone Wars 15 in this European type packaging, and then you've got Clone Republic Commander Boss. Looks great with the orange. It's got that backpack with the stretchy thing, and here he is. Comes with a um, blaster rifle and a zip line backpack okay and he's Clone Wars 11 European packaging okay so Clone Wars boss great figure and Clone Wars Ashoka in swimming gear great figure there Ashoka seems to be a really hard Ashoka seems to be a really hard figure to find these days. Okay? Especially the earlier versions. 
I'm glad I finally got her as a character, an action figure. Looks really good with the paint detail and all that sort of stuff. Crazy accessory, this flipping lightsaber thing. Lightsaber launcher. And then Boss Nass. Articulation in these figures isn't as hot as it could be, but you know. It looks like Clone Wars is uh, ending now. And the figure line's going to end as well. So, you know, often with these sort of lines and the endings, these figures are, because they're the last ones, they can they can either have poor di distribution or, you know, and become some of the scarcest of the light of the whole range. Not always. I mean, if you look at the vintage collection, it's a lot of the earlier figures that are really hard to find now, the 2010 ones. So these things are hard to predict. Okay, but here's two great orangey coloured figures. You've got Republic Commando Boss and you've got Ashoka. Ahsoka. It's got a really nice mask as well. Great accessories. Right, cheers. One more look. Here's the Tiger Man. Buck, Buck Rogers, 1979. Ok this is the Tiger Man from the movie and it's a classic image, great TV show, I've got the first season on DVD, second season's not so good, here's the Battlestar Galactica, Cylon Centurion, excellent figure, had two of these when I was a kid, the legs don't move at all but it swivels at the waist, neck and shoulders, comes with a pretty good looking weapon. And you know, back in those days, these were the, the bee's knees, as they say. Okay, so Cylon Centurion, great artwork on the card. I'm sure Laugh It Up Fuzzball is watches this and will love this Cylon. Okay, and then the last one, the Ob Obian Warrior. Definitely had this one when I was a kid. Great figure, because of all that sort of sci fi what do you call that, uh, lace around its body, great figure, four arms, two legs, great artwork on the card, classic. Okay, so that's the Cylon from Battlestar Galactica, Obion from Battlestar Galactica, 1978-79, and the uh, Buck Rogers Migo, that's Migo, Mattel, Mattel. It's the Mattel um, firing uh, missile that got the, buck, uh, buck, the Star Wars Boba Fett rocket firing feature banned back in the day. So that's your thing. And let's look at the back of the card. That's your Mattel back there. And your Mego back there, Buck Rogers. These figures are quite easy to find. The hard ones would be the Tweaky and the Buck Rogers and Wilma. Those three are the hardest ones. The rest are easy to find, especially in America. And then a B Buck Rogers, a Battlestar Galactica. This one and these two are easy to find. Spylon's harder to find. Daggett's harder to find. These two are getting very hard to find. The Dharma and Starbuck. Okay, so Battlestar Galactica. 1978 Mattel Corporation and Mego, which is, doesn't exist anymore for Buck Rogers. Okay, and then one more look at the front. Um, okay, Obion, wicked figure. Bubbles yellowed, and not in the best condition. And the Cylon just looks wicked. Okay, try to say that's the end of the haul. Okay, cheers, bye.